Hey Capricorn, this is Crystal Rose. I'm a comfy soul and I'm so glad you're here. Nice to see you. Well, energetically anyway. More easy to see you if you leave a comment and tell me how this resonates with you. That would be cool. All right, so there we have it. Psychic Tarot by John Holland is how I'm going to start. I'm going to give you some advice at the end by Oracle of the Seven Energies uh, from Colette Baron reed And um, let me shuffle up here. And I'm going to do past, present, future. Look at where you're headed. Look at how you can adjust if you don't like the future outcome. And um, I'll go into detail on whatever it is that I see come up. So let's get cracking. All right, past energy, bam. Middle energy, present energy, bam. And the future, bam. Okay, I like ye, not bad so far. So in the past, we have a spiritual union. This is somebody you met, you know you came together with, you know there was a beginning. Um, I feel you felt a strong connection. So this is something you know, okay? Uh... I think that the truth is now you've figured out that you deserve fairness. You deserve the, the scales to be balanced. So maybe in the past you were the one giving and the other one was holding back. I don't know. Let me go back to the past and work that out and see what the details were. Because this is calling for fairness. This is calling for justice. This is calling for you to, to make things right. Right? Um, and in the future, we have balance. I see you compromising with somebody and making something happen. Finding a sense of self, I'm hearing. Um, I'm also hearing you might have been the one who was emotionally available and wasn't being reciprocated. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> Do you see how that just came up in my throat chakra? So something bubbled up in my throat and it was like a little bubble to disrupt. It was like... It was like stopping me from being sappy because what I was about to say was maybe you were the person who shared all your feelings and all the loveies and you gave and gave, but you didn't get that back. And this is what the justice is about, right? The truth. So you are seeking balance. So this is balance within yourself to have a balanced situation come in your direction. Okay. All right. Let's dig into this more specifically. <laughs> I should not use funky words like that because I know a lot of people use captions. And um, I wonder if it would do Spanglish. No, no, it doesn't work like that because if I choose captions, it says English. So if I said especificamente, <laughs> it might not. It, I think it would probably put funky words. So I'm going to test that out <laughs> and check this out later to see if it came out in Spanglish or not. Although I doubt it. I miss that shirt. I used to have a shirt that said, say, habla Spanglish, and I really miss that shirt. It just, I wore it to hell. So, like, I mean, I wore the shit out of that shirt, but I really miss it, and I want it back. Like, I love those, um, those Latino t-shirt stores that, like, have all these crazy things that mean something to me. They're personal to my heart. I really love that shit. All right, let's keep going. So, yeah, there was something... And maybe you were like baby crazy too. So there's a three at the top of this card. And this has been calling out to me today for like a third energy. Because I pulled this card earlier in a private reading that I did. Um, so you wanted to create something with somebody. And I think you were very giving. This is fertility. This She's pointing to her sacral chakra. Her heart is glowing. Um, but maybe there was a third energy involved or you wanted to have a baby and they weren't down for it. Let's keep going down this rabbit hole here. What was this that you started? Cause it looks really good. There's a nice beginning, something being grown, starting creative. Yeah. And I think you just knew, <sighs> you just knew, you just knew something, something was up. Tell me what your intuition was telling you about this. Oh, eek. What is that about? Did you know you were going to hurt? What is that? Did you know you were disappointing yourself? Did you know? 
They weren't making you feel good. Let's go to the middle here. Let's go to the present moment to see what that heartache and loss was about from the past. Because I feel like, oh, if I look at these together now, it looks like you wanted a spiritual union. You were creating and manifesting that for yourself. Your crown chakra was like, yes, you deserve this. We're, we're conspiring in your favor. And right as I said that, a moth just landed on my window. Um, I'm forgetting what that means. So give me two seconds. I'm going to look it up. <sighs> oh, maybe if I wrote it correctly, that wouldn't have come out weird. Oh, now it flew to this window right in front of me. It's like screaming at me. Hello. And I just got really hot. So I'm going to take this off. I wonder why this moth, I mean, obviously it's dark outside and this thing wants to come in and be with me. So I understand why it's trying to come into the window, but it is a brown moth. So I'm going to write that specifically. Rebirth. Brown moth is rebirth. Renewal. Anything else I want to know? Let me see if there's anything else I need to know. Uh, there we go. So I think this is, uh, you doing things different. Open to subjective interpretation is interpreted as representing strength, determination, and change. Oh, in Native American traditions, the brown moth is seen as a guide during times of transition. The moth is a popular symbol in Latin American folklore where it's associated with el diablo, the devil. Hey, tell me if that translated. <laughs> it's a lot of Spanglish up in here. All right. Um, yeah. Rebirth. Change. Transformation. Metamorphosis. Resurrection. It's that whole caterpillar thing where it's about to eat itself and turn into mush and turn into this butterfly. So that's what was happening in the past. Okay, let's look at your present because I'm spending a lot of time here looking at what what messed with you. Let's go forward. Oh, ching, ow. Okay, <laughs> here was your justice you were seeking. In your present moment, you are denying the devil. So whatever this was, whoever this hurt you, whatever this loss was, you're rejecting it now. Fuck all that. You done fucked up. You're done. You're done. You're like, bye. Um, okay, that was harsh. Let's see what else is happening with the present moment. Yes, you have woken the fuck up. You are spiritually aware to the fact that you are denying the devil. You are not putting up with somebody who just wants you to get in the sack with them or wants to suck your energy or wants to play around. Yes. You're moving forward. That is your present moment. Okay, let's look at your future here because I do see balance and that's excellent. And also it's an 11 and today as I'm recording, it is 111. So that's beautiful. Um, 11 is also balance. Um, being very, um, it's the scales of justice, right? It's equal. It's one in one. So let's look at what this balance is about. What is this forward energy that is balanced? Oh, this came out. You're headed towards the light, my friend. Whoop, whoop. I like it. I like it. Okay, what else does this look like? What else is in here? These are both major arcana cards. So this is you balancing yourself and the situation by lightening up your energy and heading towards a better future. No longer being attached to this previous situation. Something changed, yo. Something changed. Hope. Hope lit up. There was an opportunity, something lit up, something new in front of you. What is this something new? Because it's so beautiful, so lighthearted, so mutual. Success? It's, it's you. This is you flying forward, going after what you want and being successful and decisive. So let me ask a present moment situation. What is it that you're choosing that's moving you forward so drastically? This is so very different from your previous readings. Heart chakra. Your heart chakra is lit up. Something happened. Something changed. You're making better decisions for your heart. Um, 
Let me ask a little bit because I feel like you left this heartache in the past and if your heart chakra is currently working on something, then what's working for you that's bringing you this beautiful new beginning? Because all this beginning, look at this, four black cards, all major arcana, all major transformations. This is your future. Big, big changes. Life-changing moves. Really nice. Really, really nice. Oh, two cards came out. Heart chakra, moving on, and partnerships and alliances. So you might have a new offer from somebody. You might have somebody coming in, but all I know is you're no longer hanging on to this old person. You're moving forward. You're moving on. You're letting go, and you're headed again. Look at where they're heading towards the light, and this is working for you. Whether this is you starting a new business or allowing a new person in that you want to date or somebody asked you out and you're saying yes, this is doing something new that's mutually honoring and respectful. Um, let me ask what you're grabbing onto because here you're grabbing onto something, right? So I want to see what that is that's bringing you to the success as you're letting go and fixing your heart. What is bringing you this? Or what are you bringing to the table that's making this happen? It's your transformation. It's you. It's truly letting go and being open to a new opportunity or situation. Um, final card for what's the outcome for you moving forward. And then I'm going to grab you some advice. Oracle of the Seven Energies. Hey, what? Material harvest, yo. So if that's a new business you chose or uh, a new relationship or both, and you're going to be working on this together, there's money here. There's money here you're going to receive the benefit of freeing yourself from the thing that hurt you before. Huge, huge energy of money through your heart chakra. This is coming because you're balancing your heart. This is the only thing that was holding you back from moving forward. So let me ask if this is the same person that hurt you or if you're moving to something new because this looks brand new to me. I needed to ask two different questions because all they're showing me is you celebrating, getting married, getting engaged, being happy in your heart. This is gorgeous. Partnerships. There's hands there. There's three people. This is team. This is teamwork. So you just need to focus on people that are working with you in the direction that you're headed. Um, okay, two more cards. Separate question. Person from the past or a new person? Let me see. Past and new. And let's see what I grabbed. Past person. There was a foundational stability structure thing that was going on. So you learn something from this or you learn something that's keeping you stable or maybe you started something with them. But where you're headed looks like success in a new direction. So you really do need to let go of this previous thing and go for something new. It looks like too much energy was put on the, the situation from the, from the past. And you have something really amazing in front of you, like right in front of your face. Um, let me ask a clarifying questions for you that are like, really, is this somebody new? Do I need to move forward? Um, clarify what it is you're seeking from a new situation, whether this is a person that comes from the past that makes an offer or a new person shows up. So what are you seeking so that you're clear on what it is that you're getting and going for, right? Okay? You've got to feel it. You got to feel it. If someone's holding their feelings back from you or you or you're not getting everything you need, it's not good for you. So this is what you're manifesting, someone who's emotionally invested and willing to share feelings with you and really connect. Otherwise, it's just not going to be satisfying and you're headed towards complete satisfaction. All right, let me get you some advice from Oracle of the 7 Energies cuz this this something's something is afoot <laughs> this is this middle January. This is a totally different energy that I'm getting for everybody that I'm reading so far. Really, really different decisions are being made and so much success moving forward, but these these things from the past need to be let go of. Okay? So let me see. 
Oh, I just got excited. Ooh, I got excited. Well, rebirth. Rebirth is still on my screen. So, and then I felt it in my heart though. It was exciting. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the advice? All right. Oracle of Seven Energies. Advice. Aw. Oh, <laughs> this has a little special meaning for me. Um, I'll leave that out of this. <laughs> I pulled this card earlier for, for me. So it was really nice. Um, beautiful uncaging. And this is, I think this, yeah, this is root chakra energy. So this is stability and security. Um, your root foundational structure. Um, opening your heart up some to something new, somebody new, new experiences, your new job, your new passion, your new side hustle, just finding a different way of expressing through your heart. Um, I'm going to actually open the book on this one. Let's see, number 14. Beautiful and caging, but look at it unlocking the heart. And actually, notice this. I don't know if you can see it, but look inside right above that lock. I can't put it too close or I won't focus. You see that person there? And there's these wings that look like little moth wings, right? So this is your encaging. This is your rebirth. This is you opening your heart to something new. Okay, so let's see. Beautiful encaging, number 14. Uh, concepts, the prison of guilt. A need for self-inventory, rigorous honesty, accountability, and making amends. Um, guilt is a powerful emotional state capable of transforming difficult situations. It keeps you accountable for your actions when you've done something that causes harm. However, it can also feed a self-sabotaging cycle that fosters codependency and a distorted sense of personal power. Self-blame can lead to behaviors that perpetuate low self-worth. So again, assess where b guilt is playing a part in your life and recognize how it's affecting you and others and address it so you can free yourself. So if there's somebody who's putting guilt on you or trying to make you feel some kind of way, that's not good for you, okay? Or and if that's you doing that for you, like you feel guilty for not being something, doing something, let it go. We're all learning and growing. Don't beat yourself up. Like the world is hard enough as it is, okay? Uh, let me skip to the end here. Um... Take a moment now to consider when you have harmed yourself or others. This knowledge will free you from the story that you tell about it. So you're able to connect with truthful remorse. Now is the time for rigorous honesty as you take a self inventory with a neutral state of mind. A good question to ask yourself now is why the guilt is there. You might be taking on a burden that is not even yours to carry. Pay attention, take action, and uncage yourself from the prison of your own making. So whatever it was that you were attached to, you were hanging on to, the, whatever that story was, toss it out. There's so much beauty ahead when you drop that story. Okay? Gorgeous. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I am curious. So if some of you would please drop me a note in the comments and kind of telling me, like, what is it that you're freeing yourself from? I'd like to know what what Capricorn is going through that is getting them free from guilt and is causing this rebirth. Um, I like Capricorn mind. I think that you guys think very differently. You're very cerebral about how you function. and But you're not afraid to get into your feelings. And once you get into your feelings, there's some kind of action that needs to take place. And you do something about it. And I see that you're doing something about it. But when you guys brew, you don't really share that with other people. You just kind of do it. And I want to be clued in. So hook me up, Cappy. <laughs> Tell me what it is that you're doing that is um, bringing you this rebirth and freeing you from guilt. In fact, I'm going to be curious and grab one of these tarot cards right now. So hold on. Let me go back to the psychic tarot for a second because I'm nosy. <laughs> Patience and planning. Having a choice. Making a decision. And this could be building a business. But this is definitely being willing to keep moving. To keep living your best life. Yeah, I like that. Choices, options. Keep moving. I like that. I like that you didn't get stuck. That's very sexy to me. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. If you want to be notified of when the next video comes out, hit that bell notification. I thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you sharing your energy with me and allowing me to be of service to you. Thank you so much. 
See you guys next time. And if you like a personal reading, hit me up at ComfySoul.com. Link's in the description below. And then you don't have to worry about scammers. See you later. Bye.